Welcome back. Let's do this thing called the law of cosines. Now, the law of cosines we're going to use when we do not have a right triangle. So we can still find missing angles and missing sides um, using the law of cosines. The pattern you need is either side, angle, side, or side, side, side. And here is the law of cosines. It's a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cosine of a. But a really good skill to have is to be able to manipulate it. So if you want to find side b or angle b, they need to be on the ends, one of the ends. So then the only thing you would do is switch this to an a squared plus c squared minus 2ac is equal to cosine of b. And then, of course, if you were looking for c, the c's would have to be on the end. Just like the other day, we have big a, b, and c, and little a, b, and c. And, of course, you can use m, n, and o. You can use x, y, and z, whatever. It's really just a variable that represents some piece of the puzzle. So we're going to solve the triangle. So we already know that angle B is 38 degrees, and we know that little c is 16, and we know that little a is 12. So what we're going to do is we are going to use the law of cosines to find little b, big A, and big C. So we're going to need to do it twice. And then to find the last angle, all you have to do is subtract from 180 degrees. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to find little b. So to find little b, we need b squared is equal to a squared plus c squared, so that would be 12 squared plus 16 squared minus 2 times 12 times 16 cosine of 38. Now when you have the variable as your side, that makes using the calculator extremely simple because then you can type everything in the right on one swoop. So we have b squared is equal to, and then you just use your calculator. So 12 squared plus 16 squared minus 2 times, we have our 12 times 16 times the cosine of 38 degrees. Click enter. And you're going to get 97 point yada, yada, yada. Now that, remember, is your b squared. Then all you have to do is square root that, or if you remember from chapter 7, we can just raise that to the 1 half power, and we get 9.86, yada, yada. This is a side length, so b is equal to 9.86. Nine. We're going to follow the same rules as the last one. Sides to the nearest tenth, angles to the nearest minute. So, what are we going to do next? We're going to find an angle. To find an angle, it's the same setup, but using the calculator is a little bit different. So, we can find A or C, it doesn't matter, so I'm just going to go find A. So, we're going to have 12 squared, because we know the side, um, is equal to, and now we're going to have to use the other pieces that we know. Um, now that we know that this side is 9.9, .9, it's 12 squared is equal to 16 squared plus 9.9 .9 squared minus 2 times 16 times 9.9, .9, and then we have the cosine of A. Now this is where it becomes more of a challenge in the calculator. You are not allowed, I repeat, you are not allowed to type that all into the calculator at one time because that would be breaking a big rule. This is like your variable. So if this was like 2 minus 3x, you wouldn't change that to negative 1x. That's not allowed. So, same with this. What you're going to have to do first is you're going to have to subtract these two pieces first from 12 squared. So that's all you need to do. You just need to do 12 squared, and then you can do minus, and then in your parentheses, you will do 16 squared plus 9.9 .9 squared. Close your parentheses, and you're going to get negative... 210.01 is equal to a negative 2 times 16 times 9.9 .9 cosine of A. 
And then, of course, what you can do is now you can solve. So what you can do is you can do your 2 times 16 times 9.9, .9, and you will get that that is 316.8. So this is negative 2, 10.01 is equal to negative 316.8 cosine A. So now we do our negative 2, 10.01 divided by our negative 316.8, enter, and we get a funky decimal, 0.6629, yada, 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 is equal to the cosine of A. And just like the last video, if we are looking for an angle, you need to use inverse cosine. So we're going to do second cosine, but we want this to be as exact as possible. So instead of typing in that decimal, just press second negative sign, which will bring up the previous answer, and click enter. You get 48 point something degrees, which we then second apps number four, change the degrees, minutes, and seconds. 40 seconds is more than half a minute, so angle A is equal to 48 degrees and 29 minutes. So now we have angle A. All we have to do now to find angle C is just 180 minus 38 minus 48 degrees and 29 minutes. Type that in the calculator and you will find out that your last angle, angle C, is 93 degrees and 31 minutes. So that's it for the law of cosines. This is Longo and I'm out. See you bye.